December of 2018, as Aquaman's coming out, why did you agree to participate in the op-ed? Well, because I believed in some of the causes that the op-ed was seeking to advance. Uh, there were uh, there was a lot of attention and energy around um, gender-based issues, gender-based violence issues in general. I had just recently become an ambassador for the ACLU. I was proud of that ambassadorship, and I was looking forward to the opportunity to lend my voice to what I thought was a great cause, which is just a, a conversation around women's issues and gendered issues that I think the whole country was having at that time, you know, quite a political conversation and cultural conversation at the time, and I was uh, happy to lend my voice if I could. Who drafted the first draft of the op-ed? The ACLU. Did you initially want to include Mr. Depp by name or reference? No. What were you trying to accomplish by the op-ed? I was trying to raise awareness uh, around some of the issues that I just mentioned. Uh, there was some uh, legislative reform, uh, Title IX being one of them, uh, and there was just a greater cultural conversation being had around uh, gender issues. And, um, and I was happy to weigh in um, on what I saw as a, 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 the you know, unique phenomena that women, uh, and typically women experience in our culture when they come forward against somebody more powerful, uh, when they speak up about gender-based violence. And I thought I could lend my voice to that conversation. I thought I had something to say about that. Were you trying to boost your sales for Aquaman since it was coming out in that same time frame? <laughs> uh, it doesn't work like that. I don't think any op-ed, uh, I mean, I, a major ma motion picture or major franchise like that is not aided by the publication of a, a an op-ed in the Washington Post.